Hi, I'm Dr. Veronica Vax, and the topic of discussion is the most common causes of acid or birth syndrome. In my practice, I identified about eight of them. The number one, increased in the intra-abdominal pressure. When the belly becomes big, it presses on the stomach and pushes food and digestive enzymes and hydrochloric acid into esophagus and create GERD. Possibility number two, too much food in the stomach. When people eat huge meal, it stretches stomach. As a result, low esophageal sphincter also becomes stretched. As a result, some food and hydrochloric acid will go into esophagus. Decreased production of hydrochloric acid. Pretty common among older people. However, in my practice, I see it's quite often in younger, in younger population, not enough hydrochloric acid produced to digest the food. Dilution of hydrochloric acid. Also very common in my practice when people drink a lot of liquids with the meal. Deactivation of parasympathetic system is the next one. When people eat at the time when they are not ready to eat, parasympathetic system is responsible for producing digestive, digest, digestive juices and for the motility of digestive tract. Food sensitivity, such as tomatoes, oranges, or any citrus fruits, sometimes onion and garlic, that's what I see in my practice. Food intolerance is number seven. Quite often, but not that often, when people cannot tolerate certain foods, such as wheat, dairy, eggs, or soy. And finally, number eight, decreased production of bile and pancreatic juices. Not that often in my practice, but also may contribute to uh, acid reflux. It's very important to identify your own cause so that you can match it with the treatment. If you don't know the cause, you will try the treatment that is not yours. Result, it's not going to work. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like my YouTube video. Thank you.